two is about completing square. First of all, we need to expand this binomial x plus b over two squared. We got x squared plus this two multiply times two. That means two times b over two x reduce. You will get a b x. Then plus b over two squared. In other words, if I have a x squared plus b x, I need to add b over two squared, so that I can get uh, x plus b over two squared. We call this is a completing square formula. In the following problem, find the C to form a completing square. We know completing square formula is x squared plus bx. Then we need to plus b over 2 squared equals x plus b over 2 squared. So b over 2 squared, this is a c. How you get the b over 2? If it's an even number, it's easy. You know, we divide it by 2, you got the 2. If it's an odd number, I can get the 5 divided by 2. If it's a fraction, for example, 6 over 5, how you divide it by 2? Check numerator. If uh, 6 can be divided by 2, that means uh, 3 over 5. That's your answer. Let's do 7 over 4. Then how we divide it by 2? Check uh, numerator first. 7 cannot be divided by 2. That's why you multiply by 2 to the denominator. That means uh, 7 over 8. For number nine, first of all, we need to add uh, b over two squared. That means uh, negative six over five divided by two. Negative six divided by two is negative three over five squared, which means uh, c equals this. Negative three square is 9, 5 square is uh, 25. But we can form a completing square like this. From here, I got the x. From this one, I got the negative 3 over 5. Then square. For number 10, still, we need to add b over 2 square, means uh, 5 over 2 square. So C equals this, 25 over 4. Then it will form something square. From here, I got the X. From here, I got the positive 5 over 2. For number 11, we got the X squared minus 12X plus b over 2 squared. So negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Therefore, c equals 32. And completing square will be from here I got the x. From here I got negative 6. That's it. So we need to transform the given quadratic function into vertex form by completing square. So we focus on x squared plus x, x squared plus x, 
I need to add b over 2 is it's 1 over 2 squared. Since you add b over 2 squared to this uh, function on the right side, you need to subtract b over 2 squared. So we can keep the original function. Then it's a minus a 7. First uh, 3, we got uh, completing square form. This is x. Here is a plus 1 over 2. Then we will work this out. We got negative 29 over 4. So the vertex will be negative 1 half and a negative 29 over 4. Remember, completing square formula is x squared plus bx. We need to add b over 2 squared so that I can form x plus b over 2 squared. For number 19, look at the first two. I can add b over 2 squared now. So I add negative 5 over 2 squared. Then you have to subtract negative 5 over 2 squared. Then minus 4. So first uh, 3, that's completing square form. I can get that from here. I got x. From here, I got negative 5 over 2. Then we put this into calculator. Uh, we work out ourselves and we got negative uh, 41 over 4. Therefore, vertex will be 5 over 2 and negative 41 over 4. For 26, we know the completing square formula is uh, x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared. Then we got x plus b over 2 squared. Make sure, first of all, you have to set up for 1x squared. Second step, we need to add b over 2 squared. Third step, that's a form the complete square. That's the steps for completing square. Since uh, negative 4x squared is not uh, 1x squared, we need to change this one into 1x squared by doing factor negative 4. So divided by negative 4, I got the x squared. Negative 6 divided by negative 4, that's uh, 3 over 2. So I add. 3 over 2x. Then you need to add b over 2 squared now. b over 2 squared, 3 over 2, we divided by 2. 3 cannot be divided by 2, that's why I multiply by 2 to the denominator now. That's you got 3 over 4. So I add 3 over 4 squared. Since uh, you add 3 over 4 squared, you have to subtract. Therefore, you subtract. But don't forget you have a factor here. So subtract negative 4 times uh, 3 over 4 squared. Then plus 1, I drop down here. Then we will get a completing square from this uh, bracket. So we got uh, negative 4. Here is a completing square. We got uh, x from here and then positive 3 over 4 from this uh, c squared. Then 
we need to work this out now. This part. Negative, negative is a positive 4. Basically, it's a 4 times a 9 over 16, then plus 1. Reduce, you will get 9 over 4 plus 1. So we got a positive 13 over 4. Before you change this, it's a 4 times 4. In this way, the vertex, it will be negative 3 over 4 and uh, 13 over 4. Let's go to 27. We know the first step is uh, create the x squared. Second step, after you create the x squared, you need to add b over c squared. You know, remember these two steps at least. So we will create x squared. We need to factor this 5. We got the x squared plus 5 divided by 5. That's a 1x. Then I need to add b over 2 squared. That will be 1 over 2. Then you have to subtract. Don't forget this 5. 5 times 1 over 2 squared. Then I add this 5 over here. So we got 5. This is a complete in square form. I got the x plus 1 over 2 squared. So we work this part out. That's a negative 5 times a 1 over 4 plus 5. So we've got negative 5 over 4 plus 5. Plus multiply. You will get a denominator is a 4. Negative 5 plus 20. That's 18. So positive 18 over 4. Therefore, your vertex will be negative 1 over 2 and a 15 over 4. We know for circle, standard form equation will be x squared plus y squared equals r when center is a 0, 0. Or this is a when center is hk, we write on x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now we change the following general form into standard form by completing square, then figure out the center and the radius. First of all, we need to put the all constant number to the right side, then put the all x together. We got the x squared minus 10x plus y squared plus 2y equals negative 17. For these two, I can do completing square. I need to add b over 2 square, that's a negative 5 square. Then plus y square plus 2y, I need to add b over 2 square, that will be 2 over 2 is 1. I got uh, equals negative 17. Since uh, I add b over 2 square, that's negative 5 square on the left side, I need to add to the right side, that's negative 5 square. Since I add 1 square on the left side, I need to add 1 square on the right side too. Therefore, for this 3, that's completing square, x minus 5 square plus y plus 1 squared. Work this out. Here is a 25 plus 1. 26 minus 17. That will be 9. 
Therefore, for center, it will be 5, negative 1. Both will be lighter because we have this uh, sphere. Radius equals square root of 9 equals 3. For number 3, same thing. We need to move 64 to the right side. Then put the all x and all y together. So I add 9x squared plus 54x plus 9y squared minus 18y equals negative 64. Remember, when you do the completing square, you have to create 1x squared. You know, plus bx, then you need to add b over 2 squared. So make sure it's 1x and also b over 2 squared. So for x part, you need to take a 9 outside. Do the bracket, I have uh, x squared. 54 divided by 9, that's a 6x. I need to add b over 2, that will be 3, 3 squared. Then plus, for this one, I take 9 outside 2. So I got uh, y squared. Negative 18 divided by 9, that's a negative 2y. Then plus b over 2 squared. That's negative 2 divided by 2 is a negative 1. Then I got uh, equals negative 64. Adding. Since you add a 3 squared, you add have to add to the right side, but don't forget this uh, 9. So I got 9 times uh, 3 squared. For this part, I add a uh, negative 1 squared, but don't forget this uh, 9. So plus 9 times negative 1 squared. Now I will form a completing square in the bracket. I got x plus 3 squared plus uh, 9 times y minus 1 squared equals, we work this out, this part is uh, 81, this part is uh, plus uh, 9, so we got uh, 26, then last step, remember that uh, formula for circle is x minus 8 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals r squared. Therefore, we need to divide it by 9 for both sides of the equation. And uh, reduce, we got x plus 3 squared plus y minus uh, 1 squared equals 26 over 9. Therefore, center will be negative 3, 1. Gradients, that's equal square root 26 over 9, means uh, square root of 26 over 9.